All right, thanks. A local university making some big moves now that New York State Board of Regents changed an important designation for the school. News 12's Ben Nandy brings us to campus for Freshman Move-In Day with more on why a simple name change could change the school forever. Freshman lacrosse player Emma Galero is starting the next stage of her life, leaving home to study health sciences here at Dominican University in Orangeburg. How's your mom doing with all this? I'm know. doing okay right now. <laughs> okay. This is a special group because this is a special year. Dominican just went from being a college the last 70 years to a university because it now has the programs and degrees to join that club in New York State. School leaders say that formal recognition is going to land Dominican on the radars of prospective students all over the world. They want to appeal to international students. They want to build up sports. Being a university helps with all of that. A strategic uh, move on the um, university's part. And um, I think for the college, now university, um, we're stepping into big shoes. And now we're in the big leagues. You're going to be our starting goalie. I run into more lacrosse players at Hertel Hall who tell me as Dominican becomes better known worldwide, It'll be nice not to have to describe everything about it when people ask where they go to school. Like now when people ask where's Dominican, you have the few like percent now that are like, oh, I've heard of that school. I know where you go. And, and the lacrosse program's excellent. The mother of a freshman, Suzanne Eichert, who got her crying out of the way on the trip here from New Jersey, can't wait to see the university grow and diversify over the four years her daughter's going to be here. Oh, it's wonderful. It's very nice. I didn't even know they were planning on doing that. But it's nice to see that they're expanding our programs for a university. Very nice. Dominican has about 2,000 students from 12 states and 6 countries. Now that it's a university, school administrators expect all of those numbers to go up. Ben Nandy, News 12.